Welcome back to Kenton and Habiba, bringing you another day in our life. If you like to eat, cook, try multicultural food, this vlog is for you. So after some exercise in the woods and unexpected wisdom, come with us to the Asian market here in the Triangle region of North Carolina. We have a lot of interesting seafood, fruits, and vegetables for you to see and buy. We're going to come home, boil some banana, fry some fish. It's going to be delicious. Good morning. Kenton and Habiba here. So he made me some juice, some green juice on my road to, well, on our road to weight loss. We both need some help. So what's in this, honey? Uh, spinach, carrot, um, apples. That's it? And, uh, oh, and a, a lime. And ginger, isn't that ginger in no there? No ginger this no time. No ginger this yeah. time? Spinach? Yep. Doesn't look good, but actually it tastes good. Yeah. Did you have some? Yes, I'm having some. Lies, no, you I have any. Look, I have glass over there. I have. I haven't had a chance yet, because I've been ser busy serving you. Yeah, he's full of it. Look over here. What is that? It's a lizard. It's a lizard? We don't have lizards. Ah! Ah, he going to my wreath. He's hiding under my wreath. No, get out. No. No. I can't have you underneath there. Mm-mm. Look, it's hiding, Kareem. Lift that thing up. Lift this wreath up. You'll see what I'm talking about. Lift it up. Do you see it? No. You don't see it? You don't see it over here. Look, it's right there. Leave it alone. Leave it alone. They eat the insects. That's what you need to keep it. Right them. there. All right, it's coming out. Yeah, good. It needs shade and they eat insects, so. We've been here a few times. I've come in here to take pictures in the past, and we've come in here to walk. It is super bright. So there's like a parking lot here, and then there are a lot of uh, paths or trails. Yeah, the correct term probably would be trails. So we haven't been here this whole summer, though. And I'm not sure today is the best day because it's really hot. <laughs> a bear? There's no bears here, I hope. <laughs> Kareem, you're too old to have your hands held, huh? Your daddy wants to hold your hand. <laughs> Beautiful tree. He's not in the right form, right? But how can you get start doing that? But how can he get to the right form for you? Mm -hmm. It's really nice. See, like right this spot is beautiful, kids. Yeah, because this little bit of shade. Khalid is trying to tell us we gotta run. <laughs> Khalid wants to jog. We're jogging. We're jogging. <laughs> Isn't too good. bad. Yeah. <laughs> Ooh, we left them behind. <laughs> See, that's what losing four pounds <laughs> giving me a little confidence. Oh Lord Jesus. Huh? Khalid's trying to kill me. <laughs> All right. So I'm gonna walk, 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 and then jog, jog, jog. Okay, Khalid, let's go. It's a nice jog. Really? <laughs> yeah, <Khalid>, yeah. <laughs> See, it's nice to have teenagers to keep you motivated. When you decide to give up, they still have the energy. Ooh. I got this thing on my waist because my back was hurting me. Tunnel. Woo! Woo, 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 <laughs> woo. I'm so silly. <laughs> this is a good workout a place up and down these stairs. Okay. <laughs> but you're not even breaking out in sweat. It's nothing for you, huh? Because you're in shape. 
it's not like your mama. Ooh, Lord. Southern heat, my God. But yeah, make sure you guys stay hydrated. Have your water, have your Gatorade. Look who shows up. We were going up and down stairs, honey. <laughs> Good for you. And off we go again. Leave them in the dust, is what I say. You would swear I'm on drugs. <laughs> or that I take something to make me high, but I don't. I really don't. Just high on life. Thank God. Walking past another bridge. Hey, Khaled, what do you think this is? Look, there's something hanging off the trees. What does it say? This uh, itself this is, wonder. is wonder. Oh, absolutely. I agree. Look at that. Absolutely. He who wonders discovers that. Oh, so sweet. Another absolutely. Where? How, how nice, how magical. This kind of thing I love. The way to knowledge dot, dot, dot. is to love many things. Vincent van Gogh. The rest of the family's catching up. Okay, let's see if they notice. Let's see if they notice. Hey, do you guys see anything hanging? Oh, <laughs> uh, see? <laughs> Isn't that cool? I think that's so cool. Um, that's from, uh, I think Henry David Thoreau. Nope. Um, no, read the front first. The front, touch it. You can touch it. Don't bite. The Blair Witch Project. It was nothing yeah. like the Blair Witch Project. Some fairy put up those things. Fairies? Yeah. Angels. Angels that love this green space put it up for your enjoyment and enlightenment. I'd like to think. <laughs> it is okay. Personal effort. Mangoes. That was ridiculous. Some guy just ran down here with his buff body. So Ken thinks he's competing, but this is his version. <laughs> that is not right. <laughs> <laughs> stupid another card but this one got tore it up okay this one says who are you not to be that's right brilliant brilliant who said this Nelson Mandela haha -ha. how could I not know that hidden messages here's another one what does that say honey the wisdom Whatever the wisdom project the is wisdom that say? Project, yeah. Oh, the, oh, maybe that's what this is yeah, called. The, the wisdom project nc at gmail.com. Clearly, they want us to know who they are. So let's see Instagram. There's the name, and then hey, Mariam found this one. Let's see, what does it say? It is, it is easier to forgive an energy uh, than to forgive a friend. An enemy, an enemy. Oh, it's easier to forgive an enemy hmm, than to forgive a friend. You know what? You're right because you don't have anything invested in your enemy. You could, you know, your enemy, you expect them to be against you. But your friends, sometimes when your friends betray you or are not supportive or, yeah, throw you under the bus or lie against you or deceive you sometimes it's so hurtful you can't forgive them it's so much harder to forgive a friend i totally understand been there we're not the only ones here there are a few random people that have passed us 
running in this heat, which I do not advise. Home sweet home, on our way. Everybody needs to go get a shower, drink several glasses of water, and then we're on to the next adventure. <laughs> of course, you know Habiba and Kenton. We always want to go out. No. <laughs> so where are we going, Ken? I don't know. We're going to Asian store, another Asian store. Asian. Who remembers this song? Back in the 90s, right? The lady who didn't shave her armpits used to sing this, I think. Or no, 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 it wasn't her. It was the other one, the Canadian. The Canadian used to sing this. Right, if you've been in Durham, you've probably been around here. There's rooms to go, there's that building again. There's a lot of shopping stores right here. Target on one side, ethnic stores, Toys R Us, banks. We got one of these reflective thingies to go in front of the glass so that it keeps the car cool. What are you doing, Ken? Like how? Lord. Okay, let me help here. Anyway, it really does work. I think it works. He thinks it doesn't make much of a difference. Oh, I think it does, right? It does. It cools the car. Or it does not cool the car. It just prevents it from getting overheated. Yeah, that's it. And then also, it, it hides, gives you a nice safe space from view. So in case if you want to... Kill your wife? <laughs> He's silly. <laughs> All kinds of smells in here. <laughs> is that what it is, durian? Yeah, hmm. What's in here? Is yeah, it's pungent. Right over there, some durian, yeah. which I am yet to taste. Wouldn't that be funny? We buy one and we try to eat it, us and the kids. The outside. Really? That's some seriously pungent smell. All right, that's Logan fruit. This tastes good, but this here, my dear, is some interesting, interesting smell. Spiky, it's quite spiky, fresh durian. And this is mangosteen, which I also don't really know. And pears and fresh lychee, lychee. We should buy some fruit, you know what? Fruit that we don't normally eat. Yeah. $2.99 a pound, is that good? That's it, that's the price. You may have tons of dragon fruit. You've got them cut open, the red one, the white one, and here they are uncut. Some eggplant, this is the Chinese eggplant. Yeah. These are good. Saute these with some garlic over here and amazing. All right, three limes for a dollar. Here we go. Here you go. I honestly don't know this fruit. This says golden dragon. Never seen this one before. Looks interesting. I wonder what it tastes like. Hmm. What if I should buy one? It's like $7.99 a pound. I'd hate to buy something that I'm not gonna like. But isn't that what life is? Try new things? Okay, I guess we're trying it. Some papaya. These are the um, ripe ones, so these are great for dessert. Not for papaya salad, but for desserts. We're gonna get one. This is a good size. I don't want it too big. Cause I want to be able to eat the whole thing with the kids. These are nice and fresh. Beautiful. Scotch bonnet or habaneros. Grab one. Okay, I guess so. You want peppers? We got peppers here for you. All kinds of peppers. Since I've been trying to cut down on meat, mushrooms are a great alternative. 
these kind of beefy mushrooms. Um, shiitake mushrooms. It's $4.31. Hmm. Not bad. Look at this. This almost looks like cow foot or meat or a bone, but this is also mushrooms. Um, another type of mushroom. And then look at these ginormous mushrooms. These are also shiitake mushrooms. If you were buying the um, papaya green, you can buy it like this green and use it for papaya salad. The Thai traditional papaya salad, which I've made before. This here is jicama, which is kind of starchy and you can grate it and eat it raw and um, Vietnamese people use it quite a bit. It's kind of starchy, Swedish. This is aloe vera. This is a young coconut. But I prefer to eat a coconut in the Caribbean. And here you have them. More pineapple. Look at this alien looking plants here or, or vegetable. This is Indian bitter melon. Ooh, it even feels weird. It's like weird but um, apparently it is bitter and goes in soups this is uh, Chinese spinach it is not the same as regular spinach American spinach or Western spinach because when it's cooked it can get a little slimy and then this one is bok choy or baby bok choy and these steam really easily and ah, they're simple tastes good good for you Lots of fiber. Actually, I like these too. This is Chinese kale. This one I cook easily too. This is good for you. You know what? I'm feeling like some green bananas. How about green bananas for breakfast? Caribbean style with um, some fish. Ooh, take me back to Jamaica. Some Korean radish. I've never tried this before. At least I'm not aware that I've tried it but something to try in the future. Sweet potatoes, sweet potatoes, sweet potatoes, sweet potatoes. Which sweet potatoes do you like? These are apparently Japanese sweet potatoes versus the regular ones, I guess. I love to watch Kenton try to figure out what's the best thing to pick up. He's always like examining. <laughs> examining. <laughs> What are you, a potato scientist? <laughs> and these are regular potatoes. Baking potatoes, red potatoes, white potatoes. Yucca. Ooh, you know what? I love fried yucca. I should do this. I wonder if the kids wouldn't mind. I love this. Once they learned that it was kind of poisonous and has cyanide in it, if not prepared well, everybody was kind of like squeamish. But yucca root is very good. Um, I'm trying to lay off starch, so... Honey, should I get some? Did you like it when I fry it? Yes, yeah, okay. That's all I get. <laughs> yeah, it's okay. It's taro root. These here. <laughs> is he? Say hi. Say hi. <laughs> and this is the section I really need to stay away from. This is not good for my diet. No. But then I'm going to use the excuse that I'm getting it for the kids. Oh, I feel like a crack addict, honestly, in front of a bunch of crack. Sesame balls. Um, over here. This is the green bean, green bean pastry, green bean pastry, walnut cookie, yolk and lotus seed crisp. This one looks interesting. I think this is the almond mung bean bun. I'm not sure, but we'll find out. <laughs> You're not getting that one? I was feeling like a frying a fish or grilling a fish. Like a whole fish. Like a whole fish. What if we did a whole fish with that a green banana? Ooh, look at this, that's squid. Isn't that squid, honey? No, that's squid, and then that's shrimp. But yeah, um, all kinds of fish. Yellow croaker, mackerel, red snapper. Grandma used to eat red snapper a lot. Campano and tilapia. I think I feel like fried fish, so we're gonna get five croakers to fry it. 
This red snapper is so pretty and you can see it's fresh. Look at the eyes. It's clear. So oh, snails. Mm. Clams. These are stuff I do not know. I have never eaten this stuff before. This is a razor clam. And look over here, they got some more clams. And more and more seafood, red shrimp. Wow, look at these jumbo shrimp. These look good. Can you imagine? Mm mm mm. Scrimps. Scrimps. Oh boy, I jumbo like some scrimps. scrimps. Jumbo shrimps. Jumbo shrimps. Lots of shrimps. Ooh, crab legs. But those crab legs look like they were frozen. Get it. Of course, they also have regular meat separately and chicken. And but we don't really buy it here. We might buy like stuff like oxtail, stuff you don't find in the regular supermarket. Like, ooh, look at this chicken. What kind of chicken is this? says silky chicken. This is definitely not an American chicken. Mm-mm. <laughs> Gizzards. Yeah. Not for me. I found the oxtail. So this is not pork. This is oxtail here. And baby, beef baby ribs. But you can tell it was frozen. And so this is probably not what I want. I want it fresh. And then they got this other stuff, shabu beef, shabu lamb. I'm not sure what's special about this, but it looks interesting. It's like thin cuts of meat wrapped. Hmm. Nice. We stayed on the outside rows. We didn't even go on the inside rows. And there's so many more goodies, good stuff to find. Didn't even go in here. What is this? It says, ooh, Caribbean seafood snack hmm that looks good though why does it say caribbean but the writing is in chinese i had a video where i made like um the peanut sauce and i showed you you need like tamarind in there so you see you can find tamarind like that the smoked sardines this looks so good Smoked sardines. Oh my goodness. This reminds me of growing up. I really like these shrimp crackers. Nice snack. Even have all kinds of ice creams here. Of course, these are unusual flavors. Green tea, bean, milky ice cream bar, mung bean jelly, pineapple milk. There's all kinds of interesting flavors. Famous fish sauce. See, look. It's actually, what, $5? The three crab fish sauce. Pungent good stuff. And here are the others. And some soy sauce. This is another favorite section of the same place. Yeah, I definitely brought you guys here before, but I love coming around here looking at all these shiny pots and appliances and tools for the kitchen. It's always nice to see what other cultures use. I don't know. I get totally excited about that. You think I have enough pots? Look at this big heavy pot. This would be good for frying those fishes that I just got. It's heavy. How pretty are these pots? These are like clay heavy pots. We got a lot of stuff, honey. We came here getting more stuff than we planned, as usual. Yeah, with us now. Right. Khalid's home and he eats nonstop even though he doesn't look like it. Switching ham and cream. <laughs> right. Right. Okay, out we go. So we're back home. The kids are putting away the groceries. And let's show you this. Ooh, this one's soft. Let's see who can peel it the first, the fastest. It's a light in here. So, woo! You get that juice. Ooh. <laughs> uh huh. So whoever finished. Peels it the fastest completely. Ah, mine's out. Cheers. 
Cheers, Miriam. There's a seed inside, so you don't want to swallow it. Gotta be careful. Fruits fleshy and sweet and juicy. Not bad, kids, huh? Kareem is harassing us saying that he wants snacks. I'm like, what do you think all of this is? Healthy snacks. It's healthy snacks right here, but no. He said he wants junk. Right, Kareem? What did you say? You want unhealthy snacks. So isn't that the same as junk? Yeah, uh, what kind of unhealthy snack? Yeah, chips. That's what he likes. Chips. Always chips. It's been a while. It's been a while. <laughs> it's good. You don't need it. Alright, so we're going now to your standard neighborhood American <laughs> supermarket. <laughs> this is where we go for regular schmegula stuff. Nothing fancy. This is where you get your, like your super, your detergent, your regular stuff, your onions, basic stuff. Two for four dollars? No, I don't usually juice them. I kind of like to throw them on cereal or porridge, oatmeal. Well, Kareem actually, Kareem juices them to be honest. Of course, there's lots of fruits and vegetables, but not as exotic as in the Asian or ethnic stores. You'll get your apples, your pears, your lemons, your bananas, standard stuff. Strawberries, always good for the summer. This is for Kareem snacks. <laughs> Just be careful with the salt because it's gonna be an issue even for him as he gets older. Too much salt, not good. He's gotta take a lesson from his mom and his grandfather and his grandmother like we all have high blood pressure. <sighs> so this is not the aisle I go to at all. But I guess they're little kids and they want a snack. They're not little. Well, they're not little, right? They're teenagers. They must have their snacks or else they act like we're depriving them even though we give them good food all the time. <laughs> We're checking the sodium content on the chips. Let's see if that one, like the regular chips, is like 6% or less sodium. 7%. 7%, so that's a little bit higher, but he likes barbecue chips, right? Yeah. Um, you know, I definitely agree with you. We know. Alright, take care, man. Alright. Shallots. Mm -hmm. Yeah, let's get it. I just sure? really want to see if it tastes how different it tastes in onions. Okay. So I'm gonna boil the green bananas. It's literally this simple. I just cut a line down the middle, that's it. I'm gonna leave them whole plop them into the hot water. And when it's cooked or boiled, the skin will fall off really easily. Hot water, and I didn't even put salt in it, just plain water, let it boil. garlic. I'm going to make a sauce that's going to go with the fried fish. See how it splits open, but it's not done yet. Give it more time. Now, you know it's done when you can put a fork right through it. See that? Fork went right through it. It's done. You don't want to overcook it because it'll fall apart. So Mariam's a little grossed out by the fish because she's not used to seeing it with the head on. You know, these American children, 
they're used to everything being cut for them and processed and canned and they don't really know where their food comes from so I'm planning to leave the head on and fry it whole I'm kind of dabbing off the excess water I've already washed the fish and made sure I doubly descaled it because they didn't do a really good job at scaling it so I'm just dabbing off the excess water so that it doesn't splash when I fry it the fish doesn't really need much because you know you don't want to overpower it and you don't want it too salty either but <laughs> we gonna eat some fish, some paprika, some paprika, season, season, season. Put some red pepper on it too. This is hot pepper. Gotta get that kick. I don't like bland food. Okay, fishy, fishy. So got this basil here. We should pick some. Might go well with the fish. And there's lemongrass. How do you know when the lemongrass is good, Dobu? You look at the stalk. The stalk? Well, should be yeah. thick, right? Anyway, let's get some basil. Oh, it's so fragrant. Check on this fish. So are these the Thai chili peppers? Yeah, one's the Thai chili, yeah. This one, this one, not yet. It's starting to. We have it on the highest 400 degrees. And you know, this is really cool, this little gadget here, because I can use it inside, I can use it outside. Um, we just have it connected by an extension cord, which you see on the floor here. And that goes into this room back here straight ahead where I have kind of like an outdoor kitchen or I keep like extra outdoor cooking supplies in there Mariam is like is it ready yet <laughs> almost Kenton's making some veggies some of the vegetables that we brought Today is that honey? Is that the Chinese um, spinach or no? no? That's the I believe that's the yu choy. Yu choy? Yeah. It's a... Looks like spinach. No, but the stalks are thicker. Hmm. I asked Kareem to go get me some tomatoes. He said there were no tomatoes. Look, there's tomatoes actually. These are the little small cherry tomatoes. I'm gonna wash them and eat them today. It's okay. So we got the fried fish. The stew to go with some rice. The boiled banana that I will take out. Kenton's veggies. He just finished making some fish sauce nook or nook mum, right? Yeah. You can clearly see it is well cooked and and it's really hot. So so I am taking it off like this. And we like ours right on the rice. Some people like their food on the side. Okay. 
That's somebody's plate. Yeah, everybody be careful with the bones. Let me go ahead with this pina colada, y'all. Um, this machine always like. Maria, what'd you do with the rum? You took it back. I didn't use it. This is not Jamaican rum, but this is uh, from Cuba. Santiago de Cuba. Bacardi. Bacardi. And we only use a little bit like a cat full because it's just for flavor ain't nobody getting lit up in here this is a family well okay two caps this is a family occasion on a saturday all right so i gotta blend it one more time and then pour it over ice garnish with pineapple and a cherry should be quite sweet and creamy got coconut milk or cream in there. It's got evap milk. It's got pineapple. Oh, perfect. Oh, that fell in. All right, there's an extra one there. Let the sunshine. Thanks for watching Kenton and Habiba and we hope to see you soon. Don't forget to thumbs up.